What essentially this study represents is a combination of a drug called utomilumab, which targets uh, 4-1-BB, which is an essentially a target antigen that's involved in T-cell stimulation. And it's combined with pembrolizumab, which is well known by many different uh, people as Keytruda, which is the PD-1 inhibitor. And the goal is really to test the safety of the combination and then also understand the pharmacokinetics, pharmacodynamics of the study and see uh, evidence of anti-tumor activity. The combination can be given safely throughout the entire dose range. Uh, we show that there's no drug-drug interaction between the two antibodies. We show that there's a trend towards the fact that those responders tended to have more T-cell CD8 T cells um, in the blood compared to the non-responders. And uh, there might be an early signal that after treatment, uh, those responders also had a big uh, or increase in interferon gamma. Probably the most important aspect that some people tend to want to look at is, you know, the response, even though that's not a primary endpoint of the study. But there were a number of different responses, including a couple of complete responses and four partial responses, as well as some non or unconfirmed uh, responses.